So this anime review will be uh, Welcome to the NHK, something I picked up from the library. It was a lot different from what I was expecting though. If you read the plot synopsis on IMDb or the back of the DVD, it's about a man who's sort of a recluse. He's uh, cut himself off from the world, but he blames everything on a major conspiracy from a broadcasting company that's trying to keep him from making uh, connections with other people. You'd think something like this would be like a science fiction sort of, you know, thriller story. But it's, it's actually the exact opposite though. Uh, Welcome to the NHK is more of a uh, cultural study. It's about uh, people and their flaws and a lot of emotions. It definitely took me by surprise on how much depth it had. It was a very emotional and uh, moving uh, story. So the uh, main character is Tatsuhiro um, Sato. He is uh, Hikikomori. Hikikomori means recluse. Basically, it's someone who uh, just doesn't go outside. They basically uh, stay inside surrounded by garbage, they watch videos, they don't do much, they don't work, they don't go to school. They just exist basically and they live a hermit lifestyle. So he's been doing this for the last three years after uh, graduating high school. He doesn't do much until he, uh, his neighbor starts playing the theme song of this really annoying anime. So he confronts this guy and meets him, it's Yamazaki, a guy he uh, defended from bullies when he was in high school. They don't really become friends, but that happens later on in the series. The uh, main plot line will be uh, he receives a knock on his door and it's an old woman saying uh, with a pamphlet uh, decrying the Hikikomori lifestyle. And of course he's so socially awkward that he blurts out that he is a Hikikomori and gets the attention of the uh, woman's young niece. Uh, sort of manic pixie dream girl, uh, Misaki uh, decides to take it upon herself to give him lessons to stop being Hikikomori. She basically makes him sign a contract, he'll come for, uh, every day for lessons at 8pm at a park. And she'll, uh, she, she can uh, take him out of this trance. And uh, So the series isn't for everyone though. It has a really slow pace. The first like, uh, there's 24 episodes and the first six episodes are just about him trying to prove to her that he's not a Hikikomori. So I mean, the, it definitely takes his time. Uh, around uh, episode six to 12, it starts to get a little darker with another character, his old high school crush. And uh, they really organically bring in other people and. Uh, Export from facets of different um, major things in Japan. There's Hikikomori, there's otakus, those are extreme fans of anime and girly things. Suicide packs is even explored, as well as a few other uh, disturbing, sometimes really, you know, ew, you know, yucky themes that you don't want to like talk about, like multi-level marketing scams even covers that too. So around episode, let's see, after 12, uh, leading on to the second half, it gets a lot darker. Uh, I guess a little cliche territory at the end, but they managed to give it a good finale. Uh, there's some, there, what I really enjoyed is that the anime series always focuses on the characters. See, this isn't like a fantastical adventure or fantasy or action, you know, magic. It's just like a drama. So like, it has to really focus on the character development of all these characters and explore different a aspects of them. Something else I noticed is that the, uh, there's a lot of realism in this. Uh, you think characters, you know, they have goals, they have, uh, things they want to accomplish, sometimes it just don't happen. That's just like real life. And uh, I felt that this anime was uh, really mature and well done. And I definitely recommend Welcome to the NHK, but not as your first anime. Maybe if you're in the mood for something a little bit different. But definitely if you're not into anime, don't check out this one first.